here we are out on Lake Winnebago and um, it's a calmer day today so we thought it'd be a perfect day to go after sheep's head. A lot of people don't like to target sheep's head but here at Central Wisconsin Sports we like to show how you can utilize just about uh, any species of fish. This is a great fishery out here, a lot of walleyes. We've caught plenty of walleyes out here. Now what we're doing is we're going for the sheep. Nice walleye there. We don't want those. We'll keep it. Uh, but we'd rather have sheep's head. But we'd rather have sheep's head. That's okay. We'll get on the sheep's head. Yep. Yeah, sheep's head. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, we got a sheep's head. Right off the bat, we got a nice one. Look at that. I see it. I can't see it. Look at that. Yeah, that's what we're going after, man. Sheep's head. Ooh, okay, look what we got. Another sheep's head. Yeah! Sheepy! Okay, now go in the back yeah. of the boat and videotape. Sheepy. Let me get it off the hook first. He's in Rapala, blue. Austin, hurry up, that middle one's I'll reel it in. Yeah, reel it in. 20 feet back on the planer board, it doesn't get any better than this, especially when we're listening to what kind of music? This is docking. Yeah. Old fish. I'd like to throw these back into the lake. Yeah, I don't think that would be too good a taste. Nice fish to catch, though. That's what we want, right there. That's a perfect size. A lot of people call these things uh, goats or sheep's head. I suppose that's the nickname that goes along with that. I think they call them that because um, back in the day, I think people thought that they used to bah, bah, but they don't. They um, they do make a growling noise. Um, the sheep's head, also known as the rubber lips, uh, is a beautiful fish. And we're going to have a nice sheep's head fish fry tonight with my brother Dan. Yeah, watch this. Awesome. Nice sheep's head. Let's reel it in. Nice, man. CJ's right away. On the board. CJ is on the board. What do you got to say about that? Turn and look at the cam. Bring it in. good. <laughs> what do you got to say about that? <laughs> okay, here we are. Uh, just had the line snap and uh, look at this monster. Way to end the day. That is a pig. Metal health. Banging our heads on the road show today. Be banging our heads about three thirty brand new That is a sheep's head of she Oh and it just fell off. Way to hand line that thing. That might be a state record hand line fish. Well, I had to listen to it to make sure it was good enough for us. That's what you call hand lining. Okay. Ready? We had a great day of fishing uh, with my brother Dan. Dan, why don't you come on in here? Had a great day of fishing with my brother Dan here for these uh, wonderful, we, we did keep some walleyes. Um, I don't know why we did, but we kept some. And uh, obviously here, it was it's all about the sheep's head today. Uh, we just wanted to show you how to fillet up sheep's head and then we're going to uh, bread them up and eat them in a little bit. Uh, a lot of people think that's a lousy fish to eat. Well, we're gonna find out, aren't we? Kept six for the pan. And my cameraman likes to have a crooked camera. That's fine. We kept six for the pan, and uh, we're going to clean them up. I'll show you just clean them up like a regular fish. And we kept some smaller ones, and then I'm going to show you a little bonus that's inside of these fish here, all right? Just fillet them. Fillet them normal. They got normal meat, nice white meat on them.
Okay, and then when you get done with that, uh, before I finish filleting them, I just want to show you here. Every sheep's head's got stones in its head. It's cut right down through the head, right behind the eyes. And pop one out right there. Little calcium stones right there. There's the other one. See, they're white as a ghost. These stones, right behind the eyeballs there. And um, you can age sheep's head with that, but that's also good luck. So we're going to collect those. We're going to make a necklace off them for, uh, for some girl. A lucky girl in Cade's life. Who would that be, Cade? That would be Summer Wright. Summer Wright is a lucky girl. Ooh, boy. So we're in uh, just about our final stage. You can see that the filet uh, doesn't smell. Looks, uh, looks good. We're just dipping it in a egg with a little water. Some beer if you want. I'm breading it. And then we will place it in the deep fryer. Okay, we're going to put the sheep's head in the oil here. Half the fillets in there. Scoop it around so they all get covered. Check them in a couple of minutes. Okay. Frying up here. And in our Cool Daddy fryer there, you can see they're nice and golden brown. Look like any other fish darn near. Clean off that excess oil. We got two batches. This is the first batch. Nice and crispy. Looks good, doesn't it? Ready to try my sheep's head recipe? Hot. Fresh out of the fryer. Here you go. Mm. Really good. Is it bad? This is sheep's head? Yep. Really? This is amazing. It tastes sort of just like water. It does. It's pretty good. So there it goes to show you sheep's head can be used and eaten fresh and it tastes good.